Hello students and my dear friends, myself Madhu Vancha. In this session, we'll discuss some of the important microbiology MCQs, which will be helpful in the lab technician recruitment examination. First question, which of the following toxin is responsible for staphylococcal scaled skin syndrome? Option A, enterotoxin. Option B, leukosidin. Option C, hemolysin. Option D, exofoliative toxin. Here, the right answer is option D, exofoliative toxin. So here, uh, exofoliative toxins, it is of two types. Exofoliative toxin A and exofoliative toxin B. And if you see, toxin A is heat stable and toxin B is heat level. So what this exofoliative toxin causes? It causes epidermal splitting. So it causes epidermal splitting, which results in the blistering disease. That is called as SSSS. It is staphylococcal scaled skin syndrome. Next question. On blood agar media, which type of hemolysis is produced by streptococcus pyogenes? Option A, alpha hemolysis. Option B, beta hemolysis. Option C, gamma hemolysis. Option D, none of the above. Here, the right answer is option B, beta type of hemolysis. So what is mean by hemolysis? Hemolysis means a breakdown of the RBC. So streptococcus pyogenes, it is a beta hemolytic bacteria. It completely lyses the RBC. So it completely breaks down the like RBC. So they produce clear or colorless colonies on blood agar media. And if you see alpha hemolysis, alpha hemolysis means partial hemolysis. They produce greenish discoloration. And gamma hemolysis means there is no hemolysis. Next question. Which of the following is selective medium for streptococcus pyogenes? Option A, blood agar. Option B, crystal violet blood agar. Option C, potassium telluride blood agar. Option D, chocolate agar. Here, what is selective medium? Selective medium, it is a solid medium which suppresses the growth of unwanted bacteria and they promote the growth of like a desired organism or they promote the growth of wanted organism. So here, what is the selective medium for streptococcus pyogenes? The answer is crystal violet blood agar medium. So here, streptococcus pyogenes is resistant to the crystal violet. And uh, uh, staphylococcus aureus is susceptible to the crystal violet solution. So here, if you see streptococcus pyogenes and staphylococcus aureus, so both are gram-positive cocci and both causes pus forming infections. So if we want to isolate only streptococcus pyogenes, as streptococcus pyogenes is resistant to the crystal violet, while preparing the blood agar media, we add like a crystal violet solution. So that this crystal violet, it mainly suppress the growth of staphylococci and it promote the growth of streptococci. Next question, which of the following is selective medium for isolation of Neisseria gonorrhea? Option A, modified Thayer Martin medium. Option B, blood agar. Option C, McConkey's agar. Option D, potassium telluride blood agar. Here, the right answer is option A, modified Thayer Martin medium. So, modified Thayer Martin is a selective medium. It allows the growth of only Neisseria species. So, modified Thayer Martin medium, it consists of antibiotics. So, it consists of chocolate agar with antibiotics. What are that antibiotics? Vancomycin, cholestin and nistatin. So, these are the three antibiotics. Uh, they are present in the Thayer Martin medium. In the modified Thayer Martin medium, along with the vancomycin, cholestin and nistatin, trimethoprim is also added in case of modified Thayer Martin medium. Next question, diphtheria toxin has affinity for following tissues. Option A, cardiac muscle. Option B, adrenals. Option C, nerve endings. And option D, all of the above. If you see, the right answer is option D, all of the above. 
see a diphtheria toxin it has affinity for cardiac muscle adrenals and nerve endings so as it has affinity for cardiac muscle it causes diphtheritic myocarditis so this is a toxin Carnet bacteria and diphtheria produce diphtheria toxin. So this toxin enter into the like a bloodstream and it show effect on the like cardiac muscles, adrenals and nerve endings. So this toxin, it causes diphtheritic myocarditis. So this diphtheritic myocarditis, it leads to the heart failure and it leads to the death. And it causes polyneuropathy and post diphtheritic paralysis of palatine and ciliary muscles. And they also causes degenerative changes in adrenals, kidney and liver. Next question. What is the chemical nature of capsule of bacillus anthracis? Option A, polysaccharide. Option B, polypeptide. Option C, fatty acid. Option D, none of the above. So what is capsule? Capsule is the outer gelatinous layer which is secreted around the cell wall of the bacteria. So generally, all bacterial capsule, they are polysaccharide in the nature, but bacillus anthracis capsule is polypeptide in the nature. Here the right answer is option B. Only bacillus anthracis capsule is polypeptide in the nature. Remaining all bacterial capsule is polysaccharide in the nature. Next question. Floppy baby syndrome is associated with option A, Clostridium botulinum infection. Option B, Clostridium farfarigenes infection. Option C, Clostridium difficile infection. And option D, all of the above. Here, the right answer is option A, that is Clostridium botulinum. See, this Clostridium botulinum, it produces powerful toxin that is called as a, like a botulin toxin. So, it causes uh, like a, a wound botulism, uh, foodborne botulism and uh, infant botulism. So this bacteria affect the infants below the age of six months. And this floppy baby syndrome, it is associated with the ingestion of contaminated food. So this uh, food, it is contaminated by the spores of Clostridium. Here uh, we are expecting, so here the honey is just like a source of infection. And this disease, it is characterized by constipation, weakness, lethargy and cranial palsies. And infants exhibit flaccid paralysis, so usually with a weak sucking response and generalized loss of tone that is called as floppy baby syndrome and respiratory complications. And the management of this, is, uh, this disease is done by supportive care and assisted feeding. Next question, which of the following toxin is most toxic? Option A, cholera toxin. Option B, botulinum toxin. Option C, tetanus. And option D, diphtheria toxin. Here, the right answer is option B, botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin is the most powerful toxin on this earth. So, it is a most powerful toxin. It is a neurotoxin. Next question. Which of the following is used as enrichment medium for isolation of Shigella from the species. So what is enrichment media? Enrichment media is the liquid media which has added inhibitory substances. So they suppress the growth of other bacteria and they promote the growth of wanted bacteria. And if you see uh, enrichment media and selective media, both suppresses the growth of unwanted bacteria and both promote the growth of wanted bacteria. So don't get confusion. Enrichment media is the liquid media and like a no, selective media is the solid media. Here, if you see the options, option A, selenate of breath, option B, alkaline peptone water, option C, tarocolate breath, and option D, none of the above. Here, the right answer is selenate of breath. So, selenate of breath, it is an enrichment media. It supports the growth of only shigella and it suppresses the growth of other bacteria. And even it supports the growth of salmonella also. Next question, the causative agent of cancroid is option A, Haemophilus influenza, option B, Haemophilus ducrei, option C, Haemophilus hemolyticus, option D, none of the above. Here, the right answer is option B, Haemophilus ducrei, 
hemophilus ducreyi causes cancroids or they are also called as soft sores so what are these cancroids or soft sores they are highly contagious sexually transmitted disease so this infection is characterized by tender non indurated irregular ulcers on genitalia next question which of the following test is associated with lymphogranuloma venereum option a fries test option b nail mousser test option c vale felix test option d all of the above here the right answer is option a fries test so fries test it is uh, like a diagnostic test for lymphogranuloma venereum uh, it is a skin test the principle is like a type 4 hypersensitivity that is del, uh, delayed hypersensitivity or cell mediated hypersensitivity reaction next question which of the following viruses was used for smallpox vaccination option a vaccinia virus vaccina virus option b variola virus option c cowpox option d tanapax so here vaccina the right answer is vaccina virus so vaccina virus uh, it is used uh, for prevention of the like smallpox uh, infection so the first smallpox vaccine was given by scientist edward jenner so because of that uh, successful and effective vaccine only the smallpox has been eradicated completely next question which vaccine is employed in pulse polio immunization program option a sac vaccine option b sabin vaccine option c bcg option d all of the above here the right answer is option b that is sabin vaccine sabin's vaccine is used in the pulse polio immunization program so that is called as sabin's opv that is oral polio vaccine so opv is used in the pulse polio immunization program it is one of the live attenuated vaccine and if you see sac vaccine that is called as ipv inactivated polio vaccine or injectable polio vaccine it is given as injection and if you see bcg uh, that gives uh, uh, that gives protection from tuberculosis next question how many serotypes of dengue viruses are there option a 3 option b 4 option c 5 and option d eight here the right answer is option c five so here there are five serotypes are there den one d e n one den two den three den four and den five and if you see uh, like uh, in many literatures or in many textbooks you can see the four serotypes only that is den one den two and den three and den four and don't get confusion so den5 it is a new serotype it was discovered in the year 2013 from bangkok that is thailand okay so total five serotypes but in some literature only four serotypes are there next question which of the following hepatitis viruses is dna virus option a hepatitis a option b hepatitis b option c hepatitis c option d hepatitis d here the right answer is option b hepatitis b if you see hepatitis a hepatitis c and hepatitis d and even hepatitis e also so these five viruses they causes hepatitis a b c d e these five viruses causes viral hepatitis so out of this hepatitis b virus is the only it is the dna virus and the remaining all four viruses such as a c d e they are rna viruses they consist of rna as genetic material next question what is the mode of transmission of hepatitis e virus option a fecally contaminated drinking water option b parenteral route option c sexual route option d all of the above here the right answer is option a fecally contaminated drinking water so it is mainly transmitted by ingestion of contaminated food and water and remember hepatitis a and e they are transmitted by fecally contaminated uh, food as well as water and if you see hepatitis b c 
and D, they are transmitted by parenteral root, sexual, and perinatal. Next question Which of the following is the largest virus? Option A, smallpox virus. Option B, parvovirus. Option C, coronavirus. Option D, adenovirus. Here the right answer is option A, smallpox virus. Smallpox virus is the largest virus and it has the size of 300 nanometer. And if you see parvovirus, parvovirus is the smallest virus. It has size of 20 nanometer. It is 20 nanometer in the size. And remember, viral size is always measured in the nanometer. Next question, amantadine is used in the treatment of option A, HSV, that is herpes simplex virus, option B, hepatitis B, option C, HIV, that is human immunodeficiency virus, option D, influenza virus. Here the right answer is option D, influenza Amantadine, it is used in the treatment of influenza. So it is a matrix protein inhibitor. Next question, which of the following viruses is associated in causation of Kaposi sarcoma? So which virus causes the Kaposi sarcoma? So here option A, herpes simplex virus. Option B, human herpes virus 6. Option C, human herpes virus 8 and option D, herpes virus simia. Here, the right answer is human herpes virus 8. So, HI, like a human herpes virus 8, that is HHV, it causes malignancy, that is cancer, that is called as a Kaposi sarcoma. So, this Kaposi sarcoma, it is mainly seen in case of HIV infected individual. And this virus, it is detected by using of PCR. Next question, what is the route of administration of MMR vaccine? What is MMR vaccine? Measles, mumps, rubella. Here, there are option A, intramuscular, option B, subcutaneous, option C, intradermal, and option D, oral. Here, the right answer is option B, subcutaneous. MMR vaccine, it is given by the subcutaneous route. So the first dose of MMR vaccine is given in between 9 to 12 months. And what is the dosage? 0 0.5 ml. It is given subcutaneously in the right upper arm. It is given at right upper arm. And the second dose of MMR is given in between 16 to 24 months. That is 0 0.5 ml subcutaneous at right upper arm. And what is the maximum age of giving this MMR vaccine? That is five years. Thank you.